If I sound a little stuffed up in this video, it's because I'm kind of sick. Half of it is allergies, and half of it is the fact that I've been seeing these Grammy tweets all over my timeline for the past 24 hours. Hi, welcome back to me talking about whatever I want. Today I want to talk about the Grammys and why they're a mess and apparently how rich people don't know how to dress. Okay, I'm not sure why that rhymed. Somebody should give me a Grammy for best rap album. But first, of course, I want to do a comment shout out from my last video. So this comment is from PS Sam and it says, this is so unreal. Like we are actually getting a video every day. Um, unfortunately, I regret to inform you that this is in fact unreal and you are the only person seeing these videos. But as a proud figment of P.S. Sam's imagination, I would still like to thank you all for the support on this channel. I feel like I could see myself doing this for a long time because it's fun and I get to just kind of chill. Um, but not today. I have no chill today. I don't even follow anybody on Twitter, and yet I've still somehow seen everyone's Grammy outfit at least twice. So for some of you who don't know, the Grammys is an American Music Awards show, and like most awards shows, it's trash. Recently, they've gotten called out by Tyler, the creator, for their extremely biased categories. They also got called out by a former CEO for allegedly having an unfair voting process. You know, it's all just fake and annoying. Okay, with that being said, it's actually probably the perfect award ceremony to celebrate the state of pop music in America. Now, I was just gonna go through and give my opinion on everyone at the Grammys outfits, because as you can see from my hipster jacket that proves that I'm too cool for the Grammys, I'm definitely an expert on fashion. But I thought, why make half of everyone watching this video mad by insulting their fave? when I can just make everyone mad by also reviewing their music. So this is the first combo music slash outfit Grammys review on YouTube, unless somebody has done this before me, in which case I pretend not to see it. I just have to give you a little warning. I fear no fan base. I've talked about Shane Dawson, James Charles, heck, I even made a video about K-pop. So I'm just here to tell you what I really think about these people and it's not very high, I'll tell you that. So first off, we have Billie Eilish, and she has claws for some reason. When I first saw that she was doing the green and black hair thing, I was really questioning how long she was gonna stick with it because I can imagine that dyeing your roots neon green is a bit of a hassle, but props for keeping up the aesthetic. As for this Gucci outfit she arrived in, uh, I just find it humorous how as loud as Billie Eilish's clothes are, Somehow her singing voice can't go above a whisper. That being said, I actually really, really like all of her music regardless. Her album, Where We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, is pretty much a masterpiece. And I think some of that is Billy's appeal, but I liked it more from a technical aspect because her brother, Phineas, did a really good job on the production. So, well deserved. Congratulations on your first Grammys, Billy. She still looks like a JoJo character, though. Here we have Lizzo wearing Versace. I honestly have to say, she looks amazing. I'm pretty much a sucker for this classic vibe that she she has going on. However, I also must say, based off of her uh, recent basketball game appearance, I'd be very scared to see what the back of that outfit looks like. Here we have Ariana Grande wearing the prettiest, most fairy tale dress in what I can only describe as the most depressing shade of gray I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, look at my walls right now. Okay, I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to gray. She told her stylist, I want that depression gray. Somehow her dress is the color of how I feel about the Grammys. It looks like she walked out of a Disney movie directed by a Hot Topic employee. This dress looks like a wedding cake that expired. She still looks good in it though. She wears it better than I could, so I have to give her props. And as for Ariana Grande's music, I listened to Sweetener and I listened to Thank You Next. I really thought Sweetener was terrible, mostly because of Pharrell's production. I have no idea why the music was that bad. However, Thank You Next was much more interesting in my opinion. And NASA by Ariana Grande, probably one of my favorite songs from last year, so congratulations on your success, Ariana Grande. All right, here we have Dua Lipa wearing just to dress. Honestly, her outfit is about as interesting as her music. I will say though, I recently watched her newest music video for Physical and I was surprised by how good it was. Both the visuals and the choreography and even her singing sounded better to me than it usually does. However, she does still kind of sound like she has a frog stuck in her throat. So uh, congratulations Dua Lipa. Hopefully you can use some of those album sales to get that removed. Here we have Rosalia. And I have to say, I might be a bit of a stan. Like that's not a good thing, right? I don't think being a stan is 
cute, but I truly feel like Rosalia is incapable of wrongdoing. If you were somebody who has never listened to a Rosalia song before, I wouldn't even know how to tell you where to start. Apale, croquet, pienso en tu mira, oh my gosh. Now, just because I enjoy her music doesn't mean I'm not about to call her out for stealing Carmen San Diego's look. Where in the world is Rosalia? You honestly thought nobody was going to notice that you just raided Carmen's closet before you showed up to the Grammys. The top half of her outfit looks like she's about to buy a beach and the bottom half of her outfit looks like she just got back from the beach. So really not sure what she's doing there. But if this is the kind of clothes you have to wear to make music that sounds that good, then honestly, please keep doing what you're doing, Rosalia. And congratulations on your beautiful music. All right, here we have Lana Del Rey. Okay, I take back everything I said about Ariana Grande. This dress is even more depressing. Are we doing gray now? Is gray like a thing that we're doing? I can just feel the color of the dress draining my color. I'm no longer a person of color because of Lana Del Rey's Grammy outfit. That being said though, I have to say this is just still very her. It's, it's like somewhat hippie-ish, very classy compared to some of the other outfits. I'm making a lot of jokes, but I honestly think she looks really good. As for her music, I don't know. I don't dislike Lana Del Rey's music at all. And I think specific songs of hers are really beautiful. However, I just feel like she has a very heavy aesthetic. And if you're not a fan of that, it can be a bit hard to get into her albums. And that's kind of the block I've been running into lately, but I'm still listening to everything she puts out because I think she's very talented. So congratulations, Lana Del Rey on your beautiful music. All right, here we have Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus. Um, So this picture represents the full range of human capability. Here we have of Lil Nas X doing the absolute most that a human being can do, standing next to Billy Ray Cyrus, who didn't try. Seeing Billy Ray Cyrus in this black leather jacket makes me sad that I own and am wearing a black leather jacket. Billy Ray Cyrus wore a t-shirt to the Grammys, just a t-shirt, and jeans no less. You can tell that he didn't try because the caption for this image says Lil Nas X and Versace and Billy Ray Cyrus, like he doesn't even have a brand. He just, this is Billy Ray Cyrus in Walmart. And I say this as somebody who's gotten most of what he's wearing right now from Walmart. That being said, Old Town Road, I'm really tired of hearing. I think Lil Nas X is very musically talented. I'm actually surprised at the range of genres that he can cover. But Old Town Road was funny at first, now it's just really annoying. And also it was made even more annoying by how many times he released those remixes so he could keep it at the top of the charts. Basically Lil Nas X got away with almost the same thing Justin Bieber did, where Justin Bieber was doing everything within his power to keep his song at the top of the Billboard charts. But I think we let Lil Nas X get away with it because Old Town Road was at least not a terrible song like Yummy. Here we have Maggie Rogers wearing Chanel. Who's Maggie Rogers? Oh, never mind. I know exactly who Maggie Rogers is. Okay, when did Alaska come out? You know what? The only Maggie Rogers song I've ever heard in my entire life was Alaska, and that was th three years ago, so I can't really say anything about her music. I will say she kind of looks like a witch. Also, I could be wrong, but I feel like she's holding a hydro flask decked out in diamonds and jewels, so if that's what you want to do. 2019, we had Visco Girls, now we have Visco Witches. But anyway, congratulations, Maggie Rogers. I'm sorry that I haven't listened to your music in years, but I will go back and check it since I've seen you here. Here we have Usher in Balmain. I mean, okay. It looks like he's wearing three different outfits right now, so I really don't know where to start. This picture is so dark, I can't tell what material his pants are shirt or shoes are made out of. It looks like this man is wearing a black hole and it's sucking his jacket into it. As for Usher's music, I think it's good. I mean, there's not much to say because he's been famous for, what, a decade? He's always been talented. He puts out really good stuff. I think he's just a good, long-lasting artist. So congratulations, Usher. Here we have Camila Cabello. Now the thing is, every time I see her, she's getting canceled over something. So I, I don't know what's going on with Camilla. So if I say I like her music and she turns out to be problematic, that's not on me because I do not know what the issue is or if it's just manufactured. I will say I don't like her music. I don't really have a reason. I just find it to be very commercial. And while there's nothing wrong with music being commercial, that's not typically a sound that I enjoy listening to. As for this outfit, it's so intricate. I can tell that her designer started from the ground up and then ran out of fabric right at the waistline so she kind of just used what was left to make a little halter top so many people are wearing black at this awards show i'm starting to wonder like was there a theme am i just really dumb and it black and gray was the theme and that's why everyone's wearing black and gray so congratulations camilla cabello i hope 
you don't get canceled again in 2020. Here we have Grace Elizabeth, and I straight up do not know who Grace Elizabeth is. I'm sorry. I can't even find a Grace Elizabeth on Spotify. Maybe she doesn't do music. I have no idea who this is. Uh, as for the outfit, it looks very uninspired. Here we have BTS. All right, so I already shared my opinions about BTS. I don't like them. However, I can acknowledge that they're extremely talented. Um, I will say that this is a horrible collection of outfits, even though with me saying that, I can just, I can feel the BTS stance typing right now. Well, what you don't understand is that each one of these outfits represents their specific personality. And if you actually listen to BTS, then you would know that it's like, it's okay. I don't care, but that's cool that you do. Okay, this person on the left, he looks really good in my opinion. He has a kind of men in black vibe. And the person on the right has like this high tech butler look going for him. Um, everybody in the middle though just looks really boring and I'm sorry. Here we have Shawn Mendes. Basically this outfit represents the fact that men's fashion stopped being interesting about 300 years ago. However, it's a cool color. As for Shawn Mendes' music, I don't like it. Um, but I do think his success story is pretty amazing, like the way he got started on YouTube. And I can acknowledge that he's very talented in both um, instruments and singing, so I think he deserves his success. Congratulations, Sean Mendez, on your extremely commercial music. Here we have LMI wearing Armani. Bro, I love LMI's music, I'm sorry. Her voice is so good, and her music videos on top of that. I think I've rewatched all of her videos way too many times to give a fair opinion. However, that being said, I can still acknowledge that she looks like the bow that you put on top of a Christmas present, but then there's just no present. She's just the bow. This dress is just red fabric. Here we have Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. The thing that's freaking me out right now is Joe Jonas's jacket is the exact same cut as mine, even down to the sleeves and this collar, but it looks like it was made out of upcycled plastic. As for Sophie Turner, she has a very, I'm not allowed to compete in this pageant, but I sure as heck am going to make sure my daughter does look going on. As for Joe Jonas's music, I don't know. I've never been like a big Jonas Brothers fan. However, it was super cool that they're having a comeback and I'm glad that they were able to come back and be so successful. So that's absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Joe Jonas. Okay, here we have Billy Porter. I feel like I am not rich enough to give my opinion on Billy Porter's outfit. I'm really curious as to how he was able to pull this outfit off when it's like skin tight yoga pants. You know, generally guys don't wear stuff like that because there's like stuff there. But when I look at this picture, there's not stuff there. So I know what had to happen for this outfit to work and it's making me uncomfortable just by association. Also, I just have to point out, looks like he has a lampshade on his head. As for Billy Porter's music, I haven't really like listened to any songs of his, if he has those, but I have listened to him sing other people's songs live and his performance was incredible. Amazing singing voice. Congratulations on your success, Billy Porter. It's well-deserved. Here we have Chrissy Teigen. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Croissant Teigen, because that's what it looks like she's wearing on her shoulders. I'm not sure what this shape is. It's unique. I will say though, the color of her outfit is super cool. Anything's an improvement over that Ariana Gray. Also, can somebody tell me why Chrissy Teigen is famous? I'm not even trying to be shady. I just, what does she do? I know she doesn't sing, right? Here we have Heidi Klum looking like um, the mirror that's right behind me. And that's really all I have to say about that. Here we have her and I, uh, I'm, I'm being attacked. There's too much going on. I'm suffering from visual overload right now. I said that that other guy was wearing three different outfits. She's wearing three different outfits from three different centuries and three different countries. And you know what? Somehow I have never heard a song by her before. So that's on me. I'm sorry. I will do my research and then come back with an updated opinion. Here we have Shania Twain. Why does Shania Twain's outfit look exactly like Maggie Rogers outfit? If I'm not mistaken, she does country and I really don't know enough about country music to remark on that. As for the outfit, all I'm saying is that she's blending into the wall and that's not ever generally a good look. Here we have Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. What is wrong with this picture? Wait, she looks like a toy. Why is his head so much bigger than hers? This looks edited, but this is on Vogue's website. It looks like Blake Shelton 
is Jeff Dunham, and he showed up with Gwen Stefani as a puppet. This is the most awkward picture I've ever seen in my entire life. That being said, he's wearing easily one of the most boring outfits from the Grammys, and she... Wedding cake. As for their music, uh, Gwen Stefani is obviously a classic, and Blake Shelton, I don't really know who he is. Uh, seeing as his albums have titles like Fully Loaded, God's Country, and Red River Blue, uh, yeah, he's definitely a country artist. All right, here we have John Legend. Thank you for wearing anything other than a suit. I really can't explain to you how much it gets on my nerves that men's fashion is like the most boring thing in the entire world. I say as I'm wearing a black leather jacket and a gray t-shirt and a gray beanie. So thank you, John Legend, for trying. Um, the unfortunate part is you didn't succeed. Now that I see this, I understand why men's fashion is boring. Just please go back to wearing a suit. No, no, all jokes aside, the asymmetrical look is interesting. It just, it doesn't work in my opinion. It's like he wanted to be unique, but he didn't want to be that unique. So he just, he stopped his designer halfway through and was like, just make the rest of it look like a normal suit. As for John Legend's music, what is there to say? He's easily one of the most talented singers in this generation. So congratulations, John Legend. Here we have Tyler, the creator. This outfit is amazing. I don't have anything else to say about it. His album, Igor, deserved all the Grammy Awards. Best country, best instrumental, I don't care. It deserved every single Grammy at the show. Seriously, who would wear this to the Grammys other than Tyler, the creator? Everyone else brought their little Chanel bags. He brought a literal suitcase. Here we have Alessandra Ambrosio and I... Who is that? As for what she's wearing, it looks like she has a struggle in her soul between dark and light, and she asked her designer to recreate that via fabric. Her earrings look like dimensions to her soul. I'm telling you, if this outfit doesn't have some sort of mystical, soul-defining purpose, then I don't know what does. That being said, I still have absolutely no idea who she is, so I don't care. All right, here we have FKA Twigs. Have y'all listened to her latest album? If you haven't, I can't explain to you how good her music is. She was in my top artist for 2019 just because of the sheer amount of times I played Magdalene on repeat. As for this dress she's wearing, I love her music too much to give my opinion on what I'm seeing right now. And that's about all the opinion you need. All right, here we have Khalid. Khalid? Khalid. Khal I'll look that one up. And honestly, if you're not gonna try to wear something interesting, I'm not gonna try to give you commentary. However, he has very good music and I enjoy his singing voice. His collaboration song with Billie Eilish is actually really pretty and I listen to that very often as well as watch the music video, so congratulations, colleague. Here we have Priyanka Chopra, Jonas, and Nick Jonas. Again, congratulations to the Jonas Brothers. His suit, the color of his suit, is reminding me of something very specific, which is not popping into my head. Foil. Gold foil. It looks like he's wearing a suit made out of gold foil. As for Priyanka Chopra, clearly she... I don't know. Great. Good job. I'm glad. Here we have DJ Khaled. Another one. Honestly, I do not like this man. I do not like the way he treats music. I do not like the things he says about other musicians. I do not like how entitled he is. I don't like what he's wearing. But I will say, he's really good at his job. Because anything with DJ Khaled in the beginning slaps so here we have quavo and prada and sawidi and machino um okay quavo looks like the carpet actually he's wearing the exact same shade as the carpet so i don't know what to say about that sawidi this dress looks okay that sounded really patronizing her name is literally sawidi i like the design is kind of futuristic i don't know i think she looks really cool and different from everyone else there as for their music i think quavo his latest album was just Awful. I think the thing about the Migos is they're all largely untalented, but when you put them together, you get about as much talent as you would get from one real person. So I guess that's why they work. And as for Saweetie, I'm pretty sure I've only heard one of her songs in existence. So I really am not qualified. Here we have Sway Lee and okay, sure. His hair is definitely goals, but this outfit, it looks like it weighs less than an ounce. Like, if I was to put this entire outfit on a scale. As for his music, I think he's good. And when he makes songs with Slim Jimmy, they're, like, super great. And his performance in Sunflower with Post Malone, definitely some of the best music I've heard. So congratulations, Sway Lee. Here we have Sir 21 Savage. I like how this picture just doesn't even say who he's with. 
So now I feel better about having no idea who that lady is. I will say though, she looks really pretty, you know? The one time I find someone's outfit interesting, I don't know who they are. This 21 Savage outfit is giving me mixed feelings, but clearly his designer had mixed feelings when creating it, so I don't feel bad about that either. Here we have Black China. So whereas other dude looked like he matched the Grammys carpet, um, she's clearly wearing the Grammys carpet. Here we have Conor McGregor. Why is he here? He doesn't do music. Here we have Bonnie McKee. She was clearly angry at Disney's recent casting choice for The Little Mermaid, so she just decided to be The Little Mermaid herself. Here we have Gloria Gaynor, and I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. All right, so there were more people at the awards show, but this article pretty much put all the famous people at the top, so I think I covered them all. I don't really hate popular music just because it's popular. I just don't understand why a lot of it is popular. But I can confidently say that the Grammys as an institution is trash, so ultimately who cares?